Here, I'll post it. This is bank two. This is bank one. Bank one has nine bulls. Bank two has eight bulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I think, and then there's nine one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so you got nine on this side, eight on that side. Bank two has eight, bank one has nine. Bank two is very easy to access and can be done by anybody. Bank one, you're gonna have to, for bank one, you're going to have to get under here. There's, I think it's somewhere right here. There's gonna be for the radiator. It's gonna be like right here and somewhere right here. No, it's right here. And then it's right over here on this side, right there. You drop the radiator fan and then gotta take the pulley system apart and take the belt off and the resistance and then you will see that there's a ninth bolt right here it's going to be hidden you're not going to be able to reach that ninth bolt until you take all this off that's going to cover the ninth bolt so in order to do this you got to take all this off and you need to get back here let me see if i get it it's about right there by the alternator like right where i'm pointing right there it's going to be two bolts and once you're going to do those two bolts you'll be able to move all the pulley system off and reach that right there. It's all accessible, it's just step by step. And then, once you take the two off, order your magnetic retarder. If you gotta keep it sitting still, you might wanna keep it clean, cause it'll get dirty. And, wait. And this is a choice you don't got to, but if you want more space, take the uh, air intakes off, the covers, and then you have to take the coolant overflow. That's a, not a choice. And the coolant tube. That's not a choice. These are the two things I took off. I don't know. My uncle did that. I don't know what it's called. But then once that's done, clean these off. Bank one and bank two. Bank one, no. Bank one, bank two. Clean the insides out. We'll break, we'll break fluid in and out and make sure your solenoids are good by testing them and replace the magnets. And I'll show a video on how to do that. Once you replace the magnets, you put it back in, you're good to go.